Hey guys, this is Hung Vango. Welcome to my YouTube channel. As many of you have requested, you would love to see more makeup look on my cotton. Here she is. She came back for me to borrow her canvas to do another look for you. And this time I'm doing more a red carpet look. It's a old Hollywood meet new Hollywood. And this is the look we came up. I hope you like the look. Give us a lot of love. Subscribe to the channel, share the video, and don't forget to follow both Maya and I on Instagram as well. Thank you so much for watching. Hey guys, in the look I'm doing today is more a red carpet look, and I want to show you from beginning to the end of the process. I usually prep the skin first, cleanse the skin. Usually I do an exfoliation first, and then if we have time, we can do some masking. For me, I like some eye mask, lip mask, and some sheet mask. It's easier, it's not messy, you only take 10 minutes and you're done. After that, you take this off. Choose the mask that doesn't have any residue, because that way you don't have to clean the skin off again. And the mask I'm using is pretty good with that. This brand, you can actually just take it off and then you just put your skincare right after and the makeup is ready to go. As start every makeup, I always prep the skin really well. Even I use mask and exfoliate and everything, hydration still on top of that. I'm only put a little lip balm, especially the process was for red carpet between the makeup. I scrub the lips and do another application. I like to use more calming serum. I think they are great on the day that you go into a van, your skin feel really calm in case too much lighting, too much flash. I think the skin is nice, calming, it's great. I usually don't put too much cologne serum for red carpet. I think when people take it with a flash, you will have a lot of cologne already from the flash. I wouldn't add any more than that. I just want the skin to feel very nice and calm. A little bit of eye cream. Maya have incredible skin, even though with someone with this amazing skin. For red carpet, I still prep the skin. I think it doesn't mean that you're not taking care of the skin if you have great skin. It's how the makeup is gonna stay really well and last all night for you. Some moisturizer on top. I have some comments that why I use too much skincare product. But you know, you guys always wanna know how I do a red carpet. What is the process? of my prep for makeup, then I show you everything and use your own judgment. If it works for you, just a moisturizer or don't put anything on, then you do the way that works for you. For me, I'm all about skincare when I do makeup. I like to take a lot of my time from prepping the skin and it works for me. The foundation I'm using is the Chanel Veta Lumiere Aqua. I'm not very good at French, so I could be wrong. Um, the foundation, it has medium to buildable full coverage. I love this foundation. It does have an SPF of 15. For red carpet, if I use SPF, I usually use it separately right after the moisturizer. But for foundation with SPF, I don't use much for red carpet. I'm always worried about the flashback from the photography. But this one is okay. This one is actually, I like it a lot because it only have 15 SPF. The foundation shades I use on Maya is 40. It may appear a little lighter on my screen just because I use really bright light. But it's better to use the color pretty close to your body if you wear any open neck or arm when you go for red carpet. So be careful when you choose the shades. I try to match pretty close to that. 
The concealer I'm using is also from Chanel, but I'm using two different shades. One is shade number 30, and I'm doing just mainly around the nose and any other part that I would like to cover. I use a lighter shade, number 10, mainly under the eye, to bridge the nose a little bit right here, right here, and the forehead. I'm using number 10 first. It is a little lighter shade, but I think it's gonna give that area a little brightening. I like it. You can use the same concealer for the whole face if that's your preference. I like to use the mixture between the brush and my finger for a concealer. For number 30, I use it around the nose and also around the mouth. Keep in mind that when I do makeup for red carpet, I tend to use a little more foundation concealer on the client than a photo shoot because the flash does eat a lot of the makeup. I'm using my foundation sponge and I go back and blend it into the skin. Number 30. Use a tiny little brush and pinpoint where else you want to cover. I know people think Maya is flawless without putting any makeup on, but as I say, makeup is personal, makeup is an accessory. Do it if you feel like that day you want to wear an accessory. No one needs makeup, they want makeup. So it should be fun. For contour, I'm using the Hollywood Contour Wand from Charlotte Tilbury. I love the name, it's perfect for red carpet. Um, I'm just use a tiny bit. Just to frame the face, especially when you do red carpet, the flash does blow out everything, so a little contouring is actually very helpful. And I use a foundation brush to blend it out. What I don't recommend is when you do red carpet, you use a fuller coverage of the foundation and then you use a darker foundation to do contouring. Remember that the coverage from foundation is only full coverage and you put another full coverage to contour the face, the skin becomes very cakey. It's better to do more a liquid contour or just like a, you know, like a soft contour. That way the skin still looks like skin even though you use full coverage foundation. For powder, I also use a Chanel powder and shade number 20, a little bit under the eye. And everywhere else. I try to keep the face a little more matte when I do red carpet. The shine naturally gonna have it throughout the day but it's great when the client first get to the red carpet when the skin more matte. And then wherever I wanna add shine, I can add it with product instead just leave the skin shiny. I usually add some shine here, here, a few area, but overall, I like to keep the skin quite matte. I also gonna bake a tiny bit just under the eye. It's not really baking, I'm just gonna leave it here and I do the eye makeup and then I dust them off after. 
For eyebrow, I'm using a brow pencil from Surat Beauty. My have beautiful brow. I'm not gonna make them any fuller. I'm just gonna extend the length a little bit on the back here. And that's all she needs. And I cheat them a little bit. You can see instead of going down, I do it out and then brush the hair up. This way the eyes still gonna look lifted. I also like to use the pencil and do a little stroke like this. Even the eyebrow full, just a bit more definition on the, the hair part there. I'm also going to use a brow pomade from them to put the eyebrow in place. This is a really good brow pomade guy. The only thing is that when it first go on, it look a little white. The white going to disappear after one is set. So you don't have to worry about that part. I'm going to prep the eyes with a long wear cream shadow from MAC. Close your eyes. This is a, a great long wear shadow, but we all use this at the eyeshadow primer. And just put a nice base in there. For eyeshadow, I'm using this eyeshadow palette from a Korean brand called Clio. I have never tried before, so I'm just gonna play with them. These are the shade I'm going to use, more of the matte shades. The first color I'm gonna use, close your eye. I'm gonna put just a tiny wash all over the crease. I use the same brush that I used for the eye primer earlier. You can use a different brush if you like, but I just use the same one. Next, same brush, same shades, I am doing on the lower lash line. Next, I'm using a warm brow pencil from MAC called Costa Reach. And then I'm gonna do a thicker line, mainly on the outer half of the eye. So you can see where I'm doing right now. You see mainly on the outer half. Using a blending brush and smudge it out. Outward and upward. And on the outside area here, you can see that I'm just smudging it in, blend it into the eyeshadow I used earlier. When I go closer to the inner part, I blend it out very tight on the lash line. Add a little more pencil just to get more depth and then Match it out again. Use a Q-tip and you can soften the edge it out too. Do the same on the other side. Look up with me. Go back with the brush earlier. You can blend that out as well. Close the eye. Just use that color, just sop everything out. Use the same blending brush with the darker shades. Close your eye, Maya. And you just follow along the lash line. Now you just set in the pencil and create in depth along the lash line at the same time. 
the look I'm doing, the lip is pretty strong, so I think I'm not gonna do too much pencil. It's all about the shadow and the lipstick. Go back with the original brush and blend everything out now. Just lightly. Do a little bit of the lighter shades and just do on the crease here. Maybe a little bit this part here to open the eye up a little bit. Go back again with the brush and blend it out. I like the idea everything blends seamlessly together. That's why I keep going back with the brush and blend and you know layer different color in there and the eye looks so much more softer and dreamier. I always like to curl the lashes before mascara. I think it's important to it keep the eye a nice lift. I'm doing two coats on the upper lashes and after that I would check if I like it without the lower mascara or not and I decide after. I love how full the lashes look with only two coats of mascara and for the lower lashes I'm gonna do just a tiny bit only with a smaller mascara like this and just to define the lashes because I don't want to add any more volume into the lower lashes unless that's the look you want to go for. I'm trying to lift everything from the upper part and the lower part just really about enhancing and defining the lashes but I don't want to give it too much of the volume. And if you do have any kind of like mistake with mascara like this, let it dry first and then you can use a spool like, like this and you just slightly scratch it and it's come off. Don't use a wet Q-tip because you take away the eyeshadow and this way you don't ruin the makeup. See this is what I'm doing, I'm just trying to take it off. Yeah. It's gone. For this look, if I'm doing a more nude lips, a soft lips, I would do more like liner, a little more like underwater line or even more mascara on the lower lash. But because I'm doing a very strong lip, so I think that is plenty for the eye. And that's the look for the eye. I'm taking some of the excess baking powder earlier off because the eye is only cooked. <laughs> it's baked. It's baked. And now we're gonna do the rest of the face. And I know the skin pretty matte, but I think at this point, I think it's great. You can always go back with your foundation sponge with nothing on, and you just clean up like this as well. I'm going to do the lips, and then I go back, do the cheeks and the highlight and everything after. I'm using these two ink velvet lip stain from Pera Pera. It's a Korean brand as well. And the lip liner from Becca. The color is a little dark, but I'm doing it from the outer part and maybe on the center, I use a little brighter red color. My have beautiful lip shape, so I'm not gonna cheat or anything. I'm just gonna follow the way that her natural lip is.
for the red color. You can use the same lip brush or you use a different one. It's up to you. I'm doing mainly in the center. This gives such a beautiful effect. I'm going to use Hula Bronzer just to frame the face. Just to warm everything up. This is the shade of blush I'm gonna use on Maya. Just on the higher cheek part. I'm gonna use a little highlighter from Tom Ford. This is the shade I'm using. Sorry, the palette I use so much that it's kind of old. <laughs> Just about the cheekbone, not too much. Because I think when red carpet, naturally with the lighting and the flash, you can have a lot of highlight from that already. So I don't want to overly shine the face with the highlighter. I'm gonna finish the makeup with a setting spray from Urban Decay. This is called All Nighter. I think they're great for a long lasting red carpet makeup. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you love the look. Give us a lot of love. Subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to give us the thumb up and share the video as well. Thank you.